A hot dog stand owner makes a profit of $100 when he sells 90 hot dogs per day. He has a loss of $30 when he sells 25 hot dogs per day. What, which linear relation represents his profit? So what we have here is a graph. And on this graph we have profit in dollars. And we have number of hot dogs sold. And we're given two points. We're given a profit of $100 when 90 hot dogs are sold. So I'll just say that the profit here is zero. So we have, we'll just say 90 hot dogs sold here and a profit of $100 over here. So this point here is 90 comma 100. He has a loss of $30, so when he sells 25 hot dogs. So 25 hot dogs, we'll just say is around here, 25, and we're gonna be at negative $30. So negative 30 is around here. So this is 25 comma negative 30. Which linear relation represents the profit? So we have two points, and when we have two points, we can find the slope. The slope here is going to be rise over run. Slope is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we'll just make this our x2, y2. We'll make this our x1, y1. So the slope is equals to 100 minus y1, which is negative 30, over x2, which is 90, minus x1, which is 25. So we have 100 plus 30 is 130 over 90 minus 25 is 65, which is equals to 2. So the slope here is 2, which makes sense. We're going uphill. And the only possible answer that has a slope of 2 is choice D. So we can already know the answer is D. But for practice, let's try actually figuring out how this y-intercept is negative 80. We have a slope and we have a point. We'll just use this point here. So we have y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. This is the slope point form. So we have y minus y1. We'll just use this point over here, 100. And the slope is 2, x minus the x value, which is 90. So we have y equals, I'm going to add 100 to both sides. I'm going to distribute here, 2x minus 180. Negative 180 plus 100 is negative 80. So that's where this y-intercept came from.